Now this is the loco which would be running today on the garden railway and just as a little tip this is um, e-cigarette juice and what I've discovered if you pull the funnel off and you turn the smoke on and you put a few drops in there this actually makes very good steam let's put the lid back on and you'll see the smoke working later on and this is my other engine my mogul which is also running but not running it today but we will get some footage of that one because that's actually quite a pretty locomotive anyway this is my number one midwest porter tank and I've slightly aged the whole surface down with some dust and just a bit of oil paint just to make it look a bit older and it looks ten times better anyway let's see how it works let's have a little walk round and I'll show you how far we've got with the progress since my last updates and then we're having a passing loop which comes around the back of the tree around there and then joins up back here on that set of points just there then afterwards we run round past the garden gate and up through Bella Pass over the new toad bridge railways are always growing so expect a lot of updates on your garden railway as it progresses and then we go up through Bella Pass and then we go up round the back let's just take a walk round this direction now the engine that would be running today is the Porter tank which I bought in uh, Train World in New York so we'll be giving that a spin today um, also I've aged it down slightly as well just added some dust um, and got the smoke working as well so there's some more views of my garden railway as it comes around the corner across the steps at the top and then up through the tunnel past the giant teacup and then we'll go round here <coughs> A look just down the tunnel and then we head off up to the top of the garden uh, at this point we've run out of track but there's not very far to go we just got to go past strawberry junction around the corner and then head down straight down the end of the garden down there then I guess at a later stage we'll be adding some more extras, uh, maybe another passing loop, possibly a turntable as well, which I think would be interesting. But finding a location for the turntable is a different matter altogether because what I don't want to do is overcrowd the garden with railway line. So I was thinking maybe possibly a turntable there or possibly here is another good location for a turntable or possibly down here as well but we'll leave that for another day but that's the update on Shores Hill Garden Railway